very good morning everyone i am dr md khurshid alam second year postgraduate trainee of nrs medical college kolkata going to present a rare case report of tuberous sclerosis this case being done being <coughs> done under the guidance of dr ramchandra bhadra associate professor of nrs medical college and dr suparna sau senior resident of department of radiology of nrs medical college now let's see how the case is presented to our department tuberous sclerosis is a multi system mm -hmm. neurocutaneous genetic condition exhibiting a wide range of manifestation it's also known as epiloia or pingel bondel phacomatosis and was initially described in 19th century by Virchow and von Recklinghausen who identified hematomas in brain and heart during the necropsy of patient with seizure and mental retardation. However, the correlation with clinical manifestation and description of syndrome was made by von Bully in 20th, 20th century. Inheritance is autosomal dominant with new mutation accounting of two-thirds of cases. A great diversity of mutations are found in TSC1 and TSC2 genes, including contiguous gene deletion of TSC2 PKD1 causing tuberous sclerosis with severe polycystic kidney disease. The clinical manifestation of the tuberous sclerosis is, uh, is associated with variable expression and complete penetration. Both sexes are equally affected. Cutaneous manifestation include facial angiofibroma which is known as adenoma sebaceous, hypopigmented macules known as aslip macules and sagrin patches and periangual and subangual fibromas. These are known as quinine's tumor and fibrous cephalic plaque. Neurological manifestation includes, include epilepsy, mental retardation and behavioral problems. Neuroimaging studies can show cortical and subcortical tubers, subependymal nodules in the wall of the lateral ventricle, and giant cell subependymal astrocytoma. Renal manifestations include angiomyelopoma and rarely renal cell carcinoma. Pulmonary manifestations include lymphangial leomyomatosis. Cardiac manifestations include rhabdomyoma. Other dental enamel pits, interval fibroma, retinal acromic, acromic patch, and non-renal hematomas. In our case, a 40 years old male came to the department of the medic medicine of NRS Medical College with complaint of pain abdomen for three months and skin lesion and depression. Here we can see the patient presented with adenoma sebaceum. This is the adenoma sebaceum present in the face of, face of the patient. And here we can see in the axilla, there is axillary fractals. Here you can see very angular fibromas in both upper limb and lower limbs. Here you can see this. Here in the forehead, we can see there is a huge plugs known as fibrous scaphalic plugs and sagrin patches mainly present in the dorsum of the back, dorsum uh, in the thorax mainly uh, lumbar regions and aslip macules here you can you can see aslip macules in the periaxillary region ncct of the whole ncct of the whole abdomen shows there is a bilateral enlarged kidneys with multiple fat density areas the hospital unit of these areas is minus 80 hospital unit intermixed with soft density which will have hospital unit of 38 with no areas of calcification suggestive of bilateral angiomyelopoma. MRI of the brain of this patient shows there is subependymal nodules in the lateral all of the lateral ventricle which is hyperintense on T1 and hyperintense in T2. And axial T2 flare shows hyper intensity areas in the left posterior, left occipital parietal region, 
here there is a hyper intensity area in the left frontal parietal regions these are mainly cortical tubers ct scan of the brain shows there is a hyper dense nodule noted in the lateral level of the lateral all of the left lateral ventricle suggestive of subependymal nodule Tuberous sclerosis complex is a multi-system neurocutaneous genetic condition with autosomal dominance inheritance characterized, characterized by hematomas that affect multiple organs including skin, central nervous system, heart, lung, and kidney. It occurs due to deletion, rearrangement, and inactivation, inactivity mutation of tumor suppressor gene TSC1 and TSC2 that lead to abnormal protein hematin and tuberin codified in the loci 9p34 and 16p13 respectively. The complex hematin and tuberin is an important inhibitor of tumor growth. This protein suppresses the activity of the emitter pathway responsible for cellular proliferation and inhibition of cell ap cellular apoptosis. In TSC patient, in tuberous sclerosis patient, changes in this protein lead to permanent activation of the emitter pathway and therefore to the formation of the hematomas in multiple organs. Familial cases of the conditions are due to germline mutation and despite being able to transmit it hereditary, 70% of the tuberous sclerosis patients are the result of somatic mutation, configuring sporadic cases. Most patients affected by the tuberous sclerosis seek medical attention due to the seizure of or skin lesion. Cutaneous manifestation represents the most common finding. Neurological and renal complications are the main cause of morbidity and mortality associated with to the condition. The genetic basis of this of the disease is now well understood and genetic testing is available for the majority of the families. Tuberculosis treatment is consist Above all, the management of the symptom caused by hematomas and prophylactic measures to avoid loss of function of the affected organs. Because it is a systemic disease, it is a multidisciplinary follow-up is mandatory with the need of assessment and follow-up in conjunction with terms of genetics, neurology, ophthalmology, pneumology, nephrology, and odontology. Thank you.